What's going on everyone? We are back again with another video of a reaction, which I have not done much of, but this involves frugality and weddings, which are two things that are not that common to be put together in the same sentence. I have a lot of friends who are getting married. I'm at that age now. So this I feel is the perfect video to put out there for all of you since it's a $500 wedding. It's been viral. It has viral in the title and we're gonna watch that now. I have not seen this yet. You get to see my prime reaction and if I love this, hate it, anything that goes along with that. So let's get started. And yes, uh, the opposite of saving money, spending money, this audio is hopefully much crisper than anything that I've ever had, had some upgrades in the computer room. So that's all to your benefit now. But with that said, let's get started. Old wedding that's going viral with almost a million views, knocking down that nearly $30,000 national average cost of a wedding to just five. The national average is 30 grand. Okay, I did not know that. I, that's, that's a... That's so much. That's a down payment on a house. That's even if you just save five grand, that could be part of your honeymoon. Just just don't spend as much. But oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Hundred dollars. Eva Pilgrim is here. She's gonna tell us how they did it. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. A wedding for five hundred dollars seems impossible, but one bride planned her whole day for just that. She never that set awesome. the budget. She says she focused just on one thing: not going into debt. Oh, yes. So many people spend so much money on a wedding and go into debt for it. That You don't have to do that. The wedding is about the two of you, and you can be around your friends and all this stuff and your family, but you don't have to go into debt for it. That's just stupid culture and all this crap. But all right, here we go. Kiera and Joel Brokenbrow had a plan in place for their wedding. Our goal was to just be as minimal as possible and to spend um, the least amount of money as possible. And they did just that. The whole ceremony cost just $500. Kent, I need to go back to that because if you look, that. look at how ceremony. happy they are and look at this shot. It sucks because as I pause, it amount blacks it out. But like, and they did that's what matters that. at the wedding. The whole ceremony They're happy, their family's there, and it's 500 bucks. A lot bucks. of people gifted us things. Like my godmom, she gifted us flowers. My sister gifted us a runner. My god sister and my auntie gifted us with a cake. Weddings can cost a fortune. The national average, close to 30 grand. And in Kiera and Joel's home state of California, the average is even higher. Dress is cheap. Okay. Cal and we got inflation. I'm not talking about that in this video, but California is ridiculously expensive. So I give them even more props to do $500 in California because that's not that much at all. But keep going. So how did Kiara pull it off? She started with the dress, which cost just $47. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a dress because I had the mindset I'm going to wear this one time for a few hours. Then she found the perfect location right off the freeway. Keyword being free. Free! And for the reception, it was free. guests paid for their food and drinks themselves. The people we had there, they understood the assignment. They understood the did, things that we were trying they? to. The people we had. Reception off the freeway. Keyword being free. And for the reception, guests paid for their food and drinks oh themselves. My. I the people we notes. had there, they understood the assignment. They understood the things that we were trying to do, and they really supported us. Kiera hoping their wedding on a They're budget happy. serves as a reminder to other couples thinking of taking the leap themselves. You have a wedding with witnesses there to witness you um, vowing to your spouse, vowing to God that you guys are going to stay together for life, and then you celebrate with food, drink, and dance. And that's exactly what we did. That's it. That's it. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking, how did she get that wedding dress for less than 50 bucks? Was she it bought wish? it online. And because she's really tall, she actually didn't need any alterations, which also saved her a lot of money because alterations can add up quickly, Michael. And what saved a lot of money was guests pay for their own food and drinks. Well, and a lot of her friends that and family gifted them so things expensive. for the wedding. So she also said she couldn't have done this without the support of her friends and family. $500, that's quite the accomplishment. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> that's awesome. love when they chip yes. in to help you out. We really appreciate that, Eva. Great advice for so many people out there who are getting married. 
That In today's weekend. Awesome. This is awesome. There's another video it looks like down here from the TikTok. My dress was $47. Yo. That looks sick. There's, there's nothing bad about this. Like, this is just perfect. Like, she knows that this dress is only going to be worn once. Maybe in five or ten years they, I don't know, you renew vows or do whatever and you put it on again or you find it in the attic or you give it to, if you have kids and you give it to them later. But, like, this is a one-time thing. It should be there with family, friends, food, drink, dance. She literally said it and did it for $500. This is just perfect. Um, I will give everyone one quick tip uh, for saving some money on a wedding. There are awesome wedding budget trackers. So wedding budget tracker. Ah, I was putting in the wrong, uh, I was putting in the wrong thing. It's not a tracker, it's a calculator. So on a wedding budget calculator, NerdWallet also has a very good one like this. You can drill through so many of the different things the number of guests and it can calculate the food, how much are you spending on the ring, videographers, the cake, everything you can put in here and you can kind of get a total, determine if it's over your budget or under your budget and you can see everything broken down. So I would highly recommend this to anyone who is planning on getting married or wants to see how they can get up to 30 grand, which is absurd. That is the average. So there's probably a lot that goes in the high end and there's probably a lot that goes in the low end, but let me know in the comments if you think this is pretty awesome being so frugal and spending $500 on a wedding and $47 on a dress. Let me know if you like the setup here with the audio and the mic and everything else, being able to react, react? Being able to react to different articles and videos. I get sent plenty of these things and I figured it'd be pretty cool for all of you to see my reaction and my input and things like that. So hope you all have a great day, weekend, whatever it is. But as always, keep being smart with your money.